Today's video is about how to connect SmartBerry watch to phone. Without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. So the first thing to do here is to switch on your Bluetooth data and location. So here I'm going to switch on my Bluetooth, my data or Wi-Fi and my location, which is the GPS. Once you have done that, the next thing to do is to download SmartBerry app. Okay. So I've already downloaded that on my phone. You can get that on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. You are going to see SmartBerry app there. So once you have done that, the next thing to do is to switch on the Bluetooth of your SmartBerry watch. How do you do that? Swipe up the watch face like this and you are going to see this Bluetooth icon. Select that and you are going to see it is switched on. So that means your Bluetooth has been switched on this way. Now, the next step to do is to launch your app and connect it to your smart watch so let's launch our smartberry app so i'm going to select open and you can see a note that says i should agree to the privacy policy and user agreement so i'll select agree option and it's going to ask for permission to access device location select while using the app it's going to ask you to also allow you to access your physical activities select allow it's going to ask you to access your contact select allow it's also going to ask you for managing your phone calls, select allow, and also photos and medias on your device, select allow. Once you have done that, it's going to take you to the Welcome to SmartBerry homepage. Here, you can log in with your details. You have option of using your Gmail or your email, or you use direct login, that is to skip the process. Here, I'm just going to use the direct login, okay? So if you want to use the Gmail, just select Gmail and it's going to send you a notification and that is it. We are advised to screenshot. So I'm going to screenshot this. Okay, so you can keep it. This is your account and password as you can see here. So once the countdown is done, you select determine. So it's going to ask you the note, select determine once again and come to the nickname settings, select the nickname and input your nickname. Just input something there. For example, I am Jaguar by nickname. So I'm going to select determine and select determine up here. And it's going to log in successfully. As you can see, notes, you have to open notification permission. Now we are at the notification access page. Here you have to grant notification access to your SmartBerry app. So we are going to search for SmartBerry app on our smart. And here is it. So you are going to toggle it on like this and select allow. So once you have done that, then you can select the back option up here and you are good to go. Now, the next thing to do is to connect your smartwatch, which is your SmartBerry watch to your app. How do you do that? Select this option up here and it's going to ask you for location permission to be obtained. Then select go set, come here and grant on permission for you to work well. So let's select this permission and make sure you have everything allowed. As you can see here, we have camera and nearby device here. So we are going to select camera and grant permission for it. Once you allow only while using the app, select the back option and go to the nearby device and select allow and select back option. Once you confirm that there is no other permission to be granted, select the back option here and back option and check if your location is turned on so let's check it as you can see my location is turned on okay so you can select cancel and come to this profile option here and select that now come to this search device and select it and it's going to search for your watch okay so let's wait for it to search for our watch if you're having issue like this next thing i would say you should do is to reset your watch so let's reset our watch i'm going to go to the settings and reset it this way and select ok and as you can see it is now switched on so let's try it once again and see as you can see it is now up here so you select your watch 7 and let's wait for it to connect successful connection of equipment now you can see it is connected to confirm this we have to select find device 
and as you can see it is ringing that shows it is connected to a smartberry watch now the next thing i'm going to show you is how to get whatsapp notification on your watch so as you can see we have all this here to get whatsapp notification go to the additional settings here and you are going to see message reminder select that and make sure you have your whatsapp reminder toggle on okay once it is toggle on you are going to receive notification from whatsapp on this device or on this smartwatch so select determine just to confirm it once again and select the back option let's test it out right now so i'm going to send hi how are you subscribe and i'm going to send it to this as you can see okay now it is showing on our watch hi how are you subscribe so that is how to get whatsapp message on your smart berry smart watch so the next thing i'm going to share with you right now is how to change the watch face so if you want to change the watch face on your smart berry watch all you have to do is to go to the settings this way and select this dial option here select the dial option and you can see my die die mall and do it yourself die so if you want to change it to some dies that are pre-installed on this app just select my die just select die more and it's going to show you some dies here that you can you know install and use by yourself as you can see there are a lot of them here so just select one and install it if you want to change it to the one that you want that is your own watch just select do it yourself die here and it's going to show you something like this now you can now select the select image option okay and it's going to bring out your gallery so you can now pick your picture so let me select this beautiful nurse so once you are okay with that select the tick option up here and select complete and you can shrink in or shrink out any way you want it so i think i want it this way and if you are good you can now select the tick option and you can see your picture there now you can also change the color of your font here just select this option down here and it's going to change the font color so i can pick black here i want it to be black and minimize then you select tick option up here and if you want to remove some of these wordings you can come here and select your time position like this and if you want to hide some of the step count i can select hide and it's going to hide it as you can see here if you want to select something to be off here you can also come here and select hide and you are left with the time only so if you want it this way if you are okay with it then you can just synchronize it now you can select apply and it's going to start uploading to your smart berry watch so as you can see there is a symbol on the watch that shows it is uploading and you can see the percentage bar going down here so let's just wait for it to sync up now we have our new watch face as you can see it looks beautiful so that is how to change the wallpaper so the next thing i'm going to share with you is how to add contact on your phone to your smart berry watch so let's go back to our settings and you are going to see phone book select phone book option and you are going to see this option up here so select that you are going to see a little drop down menu here that says that shows hard to import and delete so here you are going to select hard to that is you want to add it manually so i'm going to add one here let me add a name here i'm going to add a random number and select done so select the determine option as you can see it is right here okay so now if you want to add from the phone contact you can come here once again select the contact option and select import and it's going to show you your contact okay so just wait for you to load up your contact so that i can add anyone that you want and it's going to sync up with your smart berry watch so as you can see i have one here so i'm going to select this and if you are okay you can select as much as you want here so i'm going to select determine and as you can see i have another contact here so now let's sync it up to our watch select this and you are going to see syncing contact please wait on the watch you are going to see a logo there that shows it is syncing up now it has been synced successfully now you can go to your watch and see the contact there so let's go to our watch and check if our contact is there 
and let's pick this option that looks like contact and it's showing cannot operate without smartphone okay now let's go to our bluetooth settings and select our iPhone watch as you can see we have call and audio not permitted so let's toggle it on this way and back and let's check our watch 7 okay it's good to go now let's check it and see if it is going to show up now you can see our contact has showed up so that shows that it has synced up successfully to our watch so that is how to add contact to your smartberry watch next one i'm going to show you is the background permission in case you are having issues just go to this background running permission select that and select this arrow this double arrow here and select your phone type so here you can see samsung mobile that is my phone i'm using a samsung phone here if yours is not on the list you can select other mobile phones here okay so it's going to work for you and grant the necessary permissions and you are good to go and your smart berry watch will work well now if you want to do the nfc settings you can just come here and select your nfc settings and do every other stuff you are going to follow the procedure there just follow the steps there and it's going to sync up with your watch and you can start using your watch for nfc if you have any question please drop it down there in the comment section and i'll see you on the next one please stay safe bye for now Peace.